Hyundai will offer something special for Ionic 5 fans. Hyundai is to make another limited offering of its popular and award-winning Ionic 5 electric SUV next week, in what is expected to be another quickly sold-out event for EV-hungry consumers. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. Hyundai's most recent offering of around 100 Ionic 5s in late March was sold out in minutes, much to the frustration of more than 16,000 potential customers who had registered their interest. The offerings have also been limited to customers living in big cities, also to the frustration of those in regional areas. This latest offering, of just 65 Ionic 5s, will not be available to buyers in Brisbane, the Northern Territory, and Perth, due to stock restrictions, a spokesman said. So far, just 429 Ionic 5s have been sold by Hyundai, despite enormous interest. Australian consumers have also been frustrated by limited offerings of the Kia EV6 and other EVs. Even Tesla is warning of up to 12-month waits for its Model 3. Most car companies are sending EVs to other markets, a legacy of the slow embrace of EVs by Australia's government and the lack of any carrots or sticks, such as vehicle and fuel emission standards. The order page for the Ionic 5, which starts at around $72,000 for the RWD version, is due to open at 1 p.m. on Wednesday, March 18. The latest offering comes as news emerges that one of its predecessors, the Hyundai Ionic Electric Hatch, largely based around the existing Elantra, has been discontinued. The Ionic Hatch was one of the first EVs offered in Australia, and remains one of the few EVs priced below $50,000. It had a limited range of around 220 km, and also came in plug-in hybrid and mild hybrid versions. Hyundai apparently made the announcement, at least, globally, some months ago, but not specifically in Australia and the news has only just surfaced. It had sold 1,187 models in Australia, according to the driven data. It appears Hyundai decided that the Hyundai Kona electric SUV, also an existing model adapted to hybrid and electric versions, was more fitting to Australian market demand. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.